Grand Rising, people. I don't know what today's day is, Frank. I don't care. Oh, the 25th. Thursday. Okay, awesome. Great. Mm -hmm. It is something something in the morning. I don't know what time. Um, We just got a call, right? Mm, not you, Biv. I'm talking to you, too. She over there talking about, mm-hmm. Obviously, she know we got the call because she got it to her phone. I didn't get it to mine. Um, so let me rephrase that. Biv, I just gets a call. I'm real manic. I'm not apologizing for it. If y'all don't like the fact that I'm real manic right now, please don't stop the video. Keep playing. Just don't listen. Let me stop. <laughs> I, need to get the, I need to get the watch hours and watch hours, you know. I need to get that algorithm, you know, pulling me up for other people's. Mm -hmm. But anyways... The apartment complex is going to call just right now. Actually, I wanted to brush my hair how I had it yesterday. Because it kind of looked like I didn't even have this darn haircut. Um, oh, what was I saying? What was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, they called to be like, oh, is it okay if Terminix can come by today? So, why doesn't this apartment complex have the common courtesy of giving people more than a couple of hours notice? This is not the first time. Since we have lived here, everything is a, is a fucking short notice for us. Like, I don't know if anybody else is getting it. Like, it's... I feel like I can throw some discrimination up in here charges, you know? I feel like I can really go get me an attorney and really 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 come after this complex if i really want to because they left us without ac for a whole what a week bit or two weeks ac without yeah so they left us about a week or two without no ac working and um there's no wind blowing so even if the window was open it's not gonna do nothing mind you know ac is not working that means the heat wasn't working either so when it was getting cold we're hot cold people okay we go between both one minute we're hot the next minute we're cold but it has to do with the rest of our mental conditions just it just is that way so in this apartment the damn heat and ac can be going <laughs> and you don't even know it okay but it wasn't working for a while they didn't even bother to do shit and it took whoever came to fix the damn ac to say your apartment is full of roaches for them to want to be like oh you guys really do need help nah we was just asking for it just for the fuck of it just for the hell of it just because we are now just like you guys and they're okay with living with roaches. Bitch, where? 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 I would never be okay with living with any rodent. Barely not okay. No, let me stop. <laughs> I was about to say something so jacked up. But I'm not going to because I'm really bad at it. And I'm just trying to keep it together. My anxiety is really high today. And I already feel like I'm going to pass out from how high my anxiety is. And I know Biva needs me. So I can't pass out. Oh, it did work. Do you want to relay any messages? Can you hold it? Are you doing it? The people at the apartment are a bunch of A's. And I would not ever recommend living here. Because if you do, you're just going to go insane. Or die because of your insanity. They do not care. That's true. That's some real Here, They really don't honestly care. Like, they, they really don't. But whatever. As long as they get their money, that's all they care That is so true. They have not hounded me for the rent for this month. First of all, they're claiming that I owe them rent for last month. Bitch, where? Where? Because last time I checked, that money is not in my account no more. Y'all, that means that check went through when you guys took it. So I don't know where I owe y'all for last month. But frankly, at I this point. That to her. She stopped arguing that that oh, so no longer I owe no money anymore? I don't know if she said that, but she, I, I know verbally she understood what I was saying when I said we paid because on our end it says we paid. So you can't say we didn't pay. So we have the record. I even told her we have the record to set, show we didn't pay. And what she said? She just ain't quiet after that. She said, okay. Yeah, y'all not about to be charging me. Listen, listen here. Stay woke, people, okay? Especially for people like me who are, have conditions like I do and, and stay woke, okay? Don't let nobody play you for a fool. If you know what you're doing and you know what you got going on, then do it. Because there's one thing about me that I will say. 
I may be cocoa for cocoa puffs, okay? I may be fruity for fruity pebbles, okay? I may be bananas for the, what is it, Frosted Flakes that now comes with the banana chips? Yeah, I'm trying to come up with some shit that makes sense, okay? Don't judge me. But yes, I may be all those darn things, but there's one thing that all my kids can tell you. When it comes to making sure that the priorities, like a roof over our head is taken care of and paid, is that not one of the shits that I always make sure is done? Because the last thing I want to do is have my babies on anybody's street. I don't give a fuck whose street it is. I do not want my baby in nobody's streets, sleeping under nobody's bridges. But we're, how we living right now, we kind of would rather live on a bridge right now. I'm just, you know. On, under, in the sea, don't matter where, in a garbage can, no. Right? Make some room with a dumpster. Let them know I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming, dumpster. I'm coming. Don't let me stop. Um, That's the one thing I don't do. Like, I can go without food. I'm cool. Like... I can go without, not the cell phone because we need it. It's the only form of communication. And then, honestly, the, the internet, I needed it to work. Um, but right now, the internet's probably most likely going to get cut because it's not a priority to me right now since I can't work, since my computer is broke to the, these roaches. But I don't play no games with these things. Like, I'm not one of those that goes, I'll pay the rent later. No. Uh-uh, fuck out of here. I have to XYZ date to play it. Trust me, I'm paying it either on that same exact date or I'm paying it right on the first but don't play with me i don't play with that so don't sit there and tell me i done made my account negative twice paying the rent because i was short by 102 dollars waiting for the next um uh child support payment to come in so i can put it back into my account but i do not like seriously all jokes aside i um don't play when it comes to that because at the end of the day we have no friends down here we have no family down here we have nobody we can actually count and be like, hey, you know, I'm having this issue. As y'all can see, we're still here. We're nowhere to go. We're no support. Um, and then the so-called support we're supposed to have ain't even here. So get that. Yeah, that's the other part I wanted to touch bases on, y'all. I wasn't going to do no video because I know I'm really manic today. And I know when I'm manic, I talk fast. And I'm all over the place. And I'm fully... Shit, my chest hurts, y'all. And I'm fully Puerto Rican, so I'll be talking fast as it is, and I'll be trying to stop myself, especially when I'm doing videos and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so I know for a fact it's paid, so don't come for me about that, but at the end of the day, everything else is like, what, really? But don't let nobody come for you. It don't matter if you got shit going on or not. It don't matter if you remember if you did or didn't do something. Don't make them feel like you're more insane than what you really are or don't know what you're talking about. Okay, just don't do that. Stand up for yourself no matter what is coming on. And right now, I can't really stand up for myself per se because if I do, my bipolar is going to be the one that's going to... And I'm not trying to go behind nobody's jail, especially not down here. I can't have nobody come visit me either. Oh, she got a poop! So... Yeah, now my anxiety is going to be even higher because this means that they're going to come and irritate them more and, um, here and, um, um, stir them up more than what they already, Beva here, than what they already are right now. And that's the parts that I can't like cope with because when these mother flying colors just, yo, Prime example. Y'all remember that head that was sitting right there on that dresser that's not there no more? I mean, if you guys are like me and pay close attention to people's details just because of my OCD and who, that's just me. Even. Okay, hold on. She's done. Sorry, y'all. I'm getting like a migraine too. These migraines have been no joke. My asthma has been killing me. My chest pains have been crazy. Um, so. That head that was there, right? Accidentally the other day. Lyrica was trying to get um Biva's attention. She was standing outside talking to the lady, her lady that's supposed to be helping her, but doesn't do shit. I just think she fucking slick, but it's cool. I got, I got a trick for your ass. But um, anyways. She was talking to the lady. So Lyrica was all you know. Look, Biva, I see Biva. Like, there's my Biva. Because not everything is mine. So there's my Biva. There's my, my baby. Biva. 
There's my mom. <laughs> I'm going to show y'all. Go ahead, Baba. Do... <laughs> Alright. So, um, she accidentally bumps into the head on the dresser. And as soon as the head falls off the floor, explain to me why. From the bottom of the head, anywhere in, in the hair of the head, just thinking about it, it's, it was just coming out everywhere. And my skin is crawling. And I got goose pumps. And it was just coming out everywhere. And just everywhere. It was just everywhere. Just crawling everywhere. Just going everywhere. Just just everywhere. They were just everywhere. Who would have thought these fuckers would want to be in a damn plastic doll head? Oh, you worried because you never heard back from me yesterday? Yes, you did. I texted you back. Okay, what the hell did you want me to text you? You said you... But anyways, it was everywhere. Legit, legit, like straight up. Put y'all down a little bit, cause I'm tired of looking off. But legit, legit, straight up, mother freaking everywhere. Like when I say everywhere, even lyrical jumped up back and was like, "Whoa!" And I'm like, "What is she talking about?" When I look, I'm like, "What the flying colors is this?" And panic mode kicks in, anxiety kicks in. Like, yo, it's like I'm hyperventilating. It's like. Hold on. If I need the other lighter. It's like I'm hyperventilating and I'm just like, wait, what, what, what? Where is I? I don't care, baby. I, I don't, if whatever it is, whatever it is, be honest with you, I'm not, I'm going to force myself to eat. Then I might as well do this because this you enjoy and I'm going to say this point day you got keep on enjoying. All right, because I'm not, yeah, I'm not hungry. I've been trying to force myself to eat to not worry her, but hasn't really been working out so well. Because who has appetite? Who wants to? Even if I know it's going in the microwave, but I know these motherfuckers are also fucking around in the microwave too, so I can't. I'd rather go thirsty and 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 and, and starve than I can't. Yo, I'm sorry. I may be the only one that's like this, but it might be because of my conditions. But I can't. I can't. And then going to the bathroom is a bitch. I really got to plan it out. Like, I have a bathroom phobia to begin with anyways. Always had one. I would never use just anybody's bathroom. <laughs> I mean, those that know me about my bathroom phobia, they would go to bathrooms in the public places first before me. If I, when we ever, we got somewhere just to let me know the bathroom was straight or not. So I know not to go there. If it wasn't, if I really needed to go. But I'm the type that I would hold my joint. I didn't held my joint all the way from freaking New York to Germany. What do you mean? That was like a 14-hour ride, I think, or 16-hour plane ride. And I held my bodily fluids. Then when we got to the airport, I wasn't 100% sure, sure if I could still hold it. I had to ask my uncle how long of a ride was it to his place. Because, you know, I'd never been to Europe before. So when he told me how long it was, I was like, um. Wait, what is going on? I'm so. So. I did use the bathroom in the airport though because it was like honestly spotless clean and I was so happy that it was because honestly speaking I don't think my ass was going to be able to hold on like much longer I had already held that pee for so many hours and mind you I tried using the bathroom like I literally made myself use the bathroom right before we got on the airplane but I can't do like the I don't like the sucking sound I guess in the um the bathrooms in the um in the airplane I can't. What are you doing, Bubba? Yeah. Oh, I can't like deal with it. But anyway, so so yeah. So now they're gonna come today. Sissy's doing sissy's um warming up the eat eat now, okay? Sissy's warming up eat eat now. So we can eat eat. You don't wanna eat eat? No. Why? I'm gonna go party. So, Baby, she gotta go potty. And, um, what was I saying? Yeah, so they're coming today. 
you're most likely going to stir them up even more. And I'm just going to pray to God that I survive. So I have nowhere to go. I can see myself just, man. Anyways, though, I hate when people do that. Um, Don't give the last. Here, Beba. Don't give the last minute notices, right? Like, don't just up and be like, hey, by the way, by any possible chance, like, I know y'all know that I'm supposed to be working from home, but, like, still, don't do that. Give a common courtesy, like, for real. Because now, what I think is dirty, even though it's, like, probably normal to somebody else, I'm going to rush her to hurry up and clean it up. I'm not to get given no fuel to nobody fire. People trying to claim that this is my fault, even though they ain't never been really in here or whatever, or those, whatever, I don't know. Um, nah, I'm not about to do that, so, Yeah. Um, I needed to vent that out here because my, my, my beautiful babe, my beautiful venter, the person who I vent to, um, she had surgery yesterday and even though I know it's not anything, you know, major, like it's major surgery, but not nothing that, you know, whatever. I just don't want to add no stress to them because like, I already know they worry about me as it is. And then we're not close and I can't, I mean, we're not close as in physically where I can go see them. So I'm just going to try to stay chill mode today and then not have no mental heart attack so that I don't freak anybody else out and, you know, hopefully pray for the best. Pray for me, y'all. No, like seriously, pray for me, y'all. For real. Oh, um, I still didn't get stinky little Benadryl. Still didn't have the money to do it. If y'all want to be nice and share the GoFundMe page for us so that we can get out of here, because it looks like the IRS is not going to be giving me my money no time soon and i think that's what the text just said so i won't know when to actually get off of here and read it matter of fact i still have to think i can read it with y'all on here what you mean? 